This is Nick Jervis from Samsung Consulting and video 2 for marketing for solicitors members uh, showing you how to set up a webinar. Uh, first thing I wanted to show you was when we set up the webinar last time this email is the email produced that says you've set up an uh, a webinar you can now forward this on to other people so it literally you would click forward um, and take off um, take off everything else above that line as it tells you to um, and then you could just send that to everyone you want or as I say you could just literally send them to that link um, which is generally what I tend to do um, with your own copy then in the email above um, and then there's some other settings you need to play with so if you go back into um, go to webinar login click on my webinars and then you'll see the webinar we set up here last time um, what you need to do is change some of the settings and the most important one um, is email notifications um, so you go to email not notifications click on that and this tells you basically it's going to send out an email to your registration registrants before the webinar and afterwards which is a very good thing um, so it's going to send them an email um, and that email will look like that saying you've registered for this webinar here are the login details so that's obviously really important um, so you definitely want that to go so leave that ticked um, and then you choose how often you want it to go so it's a reminder so I would say depending how far ahead ideally you want to promote this two weeks before so I would suggest you send a one week one hour and one day reminder um, and you can personalize those emails by uh, changing the, the subject header there and changing anything at the bottom so I've just put please send your questions comments and feedback to here um, so that's the, the preview for that you can close that once that's changed um, and then follow up email to attendees and again yes you do want to send a follow up email you can include in that a link to the recorded webinar um, so I would be inclined to put that link on yourself so you can add um, your own wording here thank you for attending to, and it puts the webinar name in um, please send any questions and if you've then uploaded the webinar recording to your website you can include here's the link for you to watch the webinar if you've made any offers you can include the link to that offer um, so you know if you want to access our um, if you want to access a free initial discussion telephone discussion call us on this number or reply to this email um, so it's where you follow up on any offer you've made to your attendees during the webinar um, and those are follow-ups to emails to people that attended you can also thankfully with uh, go to webinar it will email people that didn't attend so you click yes you want to do that um, and this would give you a chance of saying now is the time to watch this webinar it's available for a few days on this link please go ahead and watch it any questions email us and again you can make any offer you've made to attendees in that email but if it's more about getting your audience to watch it you know, highlight what the webinar covered um, and also by this stage hopefully you have some feedback so include any feedback from people who attended it because you want ultimately the webinar is about showing people you know what you're talking about so you want them to watch it so that's your your chance to do that you then click save changes um, what well, I, I took the subject out there um, and that's the email settings done and then the other thing I would strongly suggest, I wouldn't suggest playing with polls just yet, although they're relatively straightforward, um, is add an exit survey um, which will uh, allow people to give you instant feedback which can be really valuable in terms of gathering feedback so you can follow people up but also more importantly um, telling you you've done well and being able to use that feedback in other um, in the promotion of this webinar or future webinars say so people attended my previous webinars have said blah. Um, so um, obviously you might choose more eloquent wording than that I'm just um, giving you an example there so you type in a question you can have a single answer multiple answers short phrase or essay well let's, let's be optimistic and put create an essay um, and that will create that question you can have any type of um, question um, so multiple answers depending obviously what you're covering and you create that question so it's as simple as that but what happens is if you click that link there show after attendee exits webinar that will mean as soon as they exit the webinar and they close the software this pops up and that they are more likely at that time to answer it than if you send an email link um, to them after the event so I would go for the instant survey because it will give you a great chance of getting some feedback um, then the only other thing you might want to do 
uh, and this is something for you know when you're feeling probably braver um, and you know that there's going to be you know at least 50 people on the webinar is uh, run a poll during the webinar um, but as I say it's, it's not for something for playing with early on and if you get to the point you think a poll will be useful um, it's really simple to do you type in your question choice multiple answers uh, no, a single answer sorry so you would create that poll and then when you're running your live webinar um, you have a go to meeting taskbar uh, which I'll show you shortly so if I save those changes um, and then if I click practice this webinar all sorts of software downloads uh, which is always entertaining um, but I just want to show you how you'd launch the webinar and just show you the tools you get when you're setting up. And I've already given you a checklist in the Marketing Solicitors Private Zone, um, but this is just a, a final video which will be useful to you when GoToWebinar launches. So once it's set up, you get this lovely taskbar um, and you get this lovely lady talking to you, which you probably can't hear, but who is currently trying to deafen me? Um, you would choose your audio setup, so I'm on mic and speakers, you can dial in, but having a good handset headset is, is good, and I recommend the Plantronics one that, that I mentioned in Marketing Solicitor's issue. Um, if you're going to run this live, the first thing you want to do is set up your recordings. Um, so you would, let me move that over here, um, you would convert to Windows Media file and then you would choose where you want your um, webinar to be saved to um, and don't record and go to meeting for that convert to Windows media player because that can be uploaded straight to um, straight to YouTube um, so you set those settings and when you're ready to go you press start recording then you put show my screen clean which means people can see what's on your screen obviously that would be a PowerPoint or something on your website that you're showing um, and then you would start the broadcast up the top here um, and that would get you up and running when you're at a point that um, you have a, enough people on there and you want to run a poll you would simply go to poll select the poll that you want which type of marketing launch that poll and that will present to all of your audience. They fill in the box, um, and when you finish the poll, press stop, and it will present the findings of that poll to your audience live. So it's a great interactive tool. But if you've only got one person on there, you know it comes back 100% of the answer they select. It doesn't look so good. So you've got to make sure there's plenty of people on there. You can see or anyone that's on your webinar, um, yourself and any staff or co-presenters. You can see, and they will all be muted. You could unmute them, but. It, generally a webinar is, is talking out um, but you can receive questions through the question box um, which is very useful and if you want to you can move that out so I move it out and have it in the top of my screen so you can you can see this questions coming in um, and then answer them at an appropriate point during the webinar which just makes it feel that much more uh, live and, and you know brings it together well um, so those are the key settings for GoToWebinar. You're ready to get up and running. So I'll close that down and end this video. Thanks.